Indiana Jones became an icon in the 1980s with a trilogy of movies. He was an intelligent, scrappy, and wisecracking archaeologist. He also heavily influenced movies like National Treasure and video games like Tomb Raider and Uncharted. As far as Indiana Jones video games, there were several in the 80s and 90s, but since then there have hardly been any. The one that stands out the most for me is Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb, which was released almost 21 years ago. I loved this game when it came out, and it has stuck with me over the years. After playing it again recently, I'm surprised with how well it still holds up. It does a great job of capturing the spirit and cheesiness of the original movies, and it's simply fun to play. It's a game that doesn't get talked about much anymore, so I decided to make a video to remind everyone that this game still exists and you should play it. The Emperor's Tomb is an original story that takes place in 1935, not long before the Temple of Doom movie. India is recruited to retrieve a black pearl called the Heart of the Dragon. Both the Nazis and the Black Dragon Triad are also after it, and India has to fight them off, along with hired mercenaries and even evil spirits. Yes, evil spirits. Similar to the movies, the plot is nonsensical, but it's entertaining and doesn't take itself too seriously. Indy's adventure takes him to various locations, Prague, Istanbul, Hong Kong, and the Pengle Island. They all still look great and are interesting to explore. My favorite part of the game is the combat. You mainly use melee attacks and can experiment with various combos between two dedicated melee buttons. You can block incoming melee attacks as well as grab enemies and shove them. In addition, you can use objects in the environment as melee weapons to gain the upper hand or you can pick up and use different blades and guns dropped by enemies. And of course, you have Indy's signature tool, the whip, which is used to disarm an enemy, create separation, or lasso and pull them in for a punch. Enemies are smart enough to attack in groups and read your moves, challenging you to improvise. I find the scrappy combat quite enjoyable, and the audio does a great job of selling how hard you hit. <laughs> Outside of combat, you'll be doing a mixture of platforming, swimming, navigating traps, and solving puzzles. Swimming is probably the most problematic. It's hard to lock onto targets and the camera often works against you. Platforming is fine, but jumping between platforms isn't always precise. I died a handful of times in one section because it was hard to tell how close to the edge I had to be before jumping. Using your whip to swing is great, though the timing takes some getting used to. Traps are varied and tense. Sometimes you'll have to roll or shuffle your way through or use objects to set off the traps to avoid being hit. Later on, some traps and platforms are invisible and you'll need specific objects to reveal them. The game does a great job of mixing up the gameplay elements and keeping you engaged, especially when accompanied by a great soundtrack. Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb has some issues and does show its age at times, but it's really well done and well worth revisiting. It has an entertaining plot, great scrappy combat, and varied gameplay elements. It's even better for those who love the original movies, as this game pays homage to them. Sadly, the digital version on Xbox was quietly delisted back in April of this year, so unless you can find the disc version for a decent price, the only way to play is on PC. There's also a new Indiana Jones game from Machine Games to look forward to, and if it's anything like The Emperor's Tomb, I'm for sure on board. <laughs> 